We doing a live show right now. We live on Vocal. I do this every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, just go to Vocal.com. You'll see me on the front page. In a celebrity. Nah, seriously, go to Vocal, follow me there, and it'll let you know when I do a live show. Popsicles. What, Johnny? Johnny, what? Popsicles in your mouth, don't you? Anyways, jo Johnny's, Johnny wants popsicles <laughs> in his mouth, apparently. Johnny's always on here. He's going to be chatting with us. People in the chat, say what's up. You guys will see your usernames. Everybody say hey. Everybody in the live show, everybody in the live show wants me to, to put them in the, the vlog saying hey. Maybe you guys will see your name scroll through in a second or so. Or for a second. There you go. Duh. No more chances to be in the vlog. Alright. So we're live on Black TV. Or not Black TV. I'm sorry, Vocal. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Uh, we're live on Vocal. And we are about to make... Some Kool-Aid popsicles. Here's what you need. You need Kool-Aid. You need sugar. So basically, you gotta make Kool-Aid. You need an ice tray. You need some toothpicks. Round toothpicks to be exact. Basically what you do, make Kool-Aid, pour them in the ice tray, put some toothpicks in them, put them in the freezer. Right there. Best thing ever. I'm telling you, these are better than Kool-Aid. They're like five times better than Kool-Aid. And Kool-Aid is good. This is gonna be awesome. Alright guys, you know what I'm saying? Where's the grape? Where's the grape? There's grape right there. There we go. That's not the pink one. It could be purple, it could be pink. Panda Johnny. It all depends how you mix that drink. <laughs> <laughs> all depends how should we mix this drink? Should we make it purple and pink? You guys decide. No, we're not gonna ruin my popsicles. I got to have the grape flavor. Alright, so what we're gonna do. We're making that Kool-Aid. Making that cool. You don't have leftover Kool-Aid, so be excited. You're gonna have Kool-Aid popsicles and Kool-Aid. It's gonna be awesome. Here we go. If I can get this Kool-Aid open. Pour it in there. Gotta get the live show viewers. Gotta let them see it. Pouring that great Kool-Aid in there. You know, Kool-Aid is an official sponsor of the vlogs now. Thing, Johnny. Yes, we have a new thing, guys. Freaking Kool Aid. Yes. What? No more Mountain Dew. Drink it, y'all. It's freaking Kool Aid. Oh yeah, like the Kool Aid man. Oh yeah. We're Kool Aid. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have a new thing. I've been waiting for it. I was like, when is the next thing happening? Kool Aid. People are saying, no, no, no. Kool Aid no, is it's a new thing. It's not flowing. You just made it into something. Like it's gotta. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. That's how good we are now. So we can make something. I think. Johnny's just jealous because he's not here right now, hanging out with us. All right, now we're gonna take a cup and a half of sugar. Where's the cup? Yeah, there's a lot of sugar. <laughs> okay, that's almost one cup. So we're gonna pour one in there. Oh my god! You didn't actually believe me about that, did you? I know you at least had one cup, stupid. Just I didn't know how many cups of sugar you're supposed to add to Kool-Aid. I think that's good. That's good. That's plenty. Good day. Well, the first time it wasn't a full cup. Anyways, there we go. Got the sugar. Got the Kool-Aid. Got to put that sugar up because the little monkey that's running around will grab that sugar up and take off with it, which would not be good. We have sugar everywhere. Mix it up so it's all yummy and good. Kool-Aid. <laughs> Johnny. Kool-Aid. <laughs> We're putting two packs of that great Kool Aid. Everybody's computers, speakers. <laughs> Everybody in the live show is like their speakers just like exploded. Ow! <laughs> These people with it. Like, oh, oh my, my god. god! I feel bad for people having on it. All right. So now we gotta bring it over to the sink. All right. Now we put the water. Mmm. Look at that. Great. Oh, so nice. so delicious. What's you guys' favorite uh, flavor of Kool-Aid? And if you say you don't like Kool-Aid, Johnny's gonna come rip your soul out. Thing, it's like a strong grape smell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my name Lil Mike. God, so much sugar. Booyah, son. Great Kool-Aid. <laughs> Stir that Kool-Aid. Stir it good. Oh yeah. Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid. 
<laughs> Alright, you know, just gotta give the Kool Aid a little taste. Oh man, you better not put that spoon back in there. You better not put that spoon back in there. No! Oh! oh. Freaking him! It's my Kool Aid. <laughs> ah, son. Who's that little kid? That's Johnny. Booyah. Kool Aid pops are done. Very careful taking the freezer pops. The freezer pop. The Kool Aid pops to the freezer. Where am I going to put these things? Up oh, top. Wait, don't you have to put this toothpicks in first? I'm gonna put them in here once they're in here so they don't move around. You're an idiot. Oh, I spilled it. Freaking get it up. There we go. Kool Aid pops in the freezer. Yeah, how are you gonna get and the popsicle the sticks? Or the, the Mac, sticks? lick that up. He's like, Kool Aid, great Kool Aid. Alright, I'm sorry I'm enjoying it. <laughs> now you gotta put the uh, toothpicks in there. A good suggestion would be to put tin foil or like plastic wrap over them but we don't have any of that so we're just gonna like set the toothpicks down in there I don't suggest you doing that I'm not sure how they're gonna come out or if you will be able to get them out of their ice tray things but it should work alright so just put them in there put, the, put one right here for the so get a good view of it Oh yeah the only problem is it goes like that look and then it has it like it's like right yeah. at the top we need to make sure it gets down in there good just put it like in the corner anyways that's what you do. Put them in the freezer, leave them in there until they get frozen. You've got the best popsicles known to man. And you still got all this Kool-Aid left over. Deliciousness. All right, we having some delicious Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid! I just about got choked on it. Oh my god, you know what it is. You know what it is. Hot and ready, son. David. <clears throat> what? I know, Johnny. Johnny introduced me to Lil C's. It's Johnny's birthday. He's hot. And now I'm in love. He's hot and ready, too. Johnny's hot and ready for his birthday. Daddy, you just called Johnny hot. No, that was gay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! NASCAR! I don't care to lose hearing for no reason. Now stop. <laughs> cool! <-y. laughs> okay, now we're gonna make some uh, donuts with these buttermilk biscuits. These are like the cheap kind you can get from Walmart or your store, like whatever the cheapest ones are. Uh, it doesn't matter. Basically, what you do, you take the biscuits out, put a little hole in them, you get cinnamon and sugar and then that's pretty much it i think you can cook these well, instead of right on but right oh uh, yeah sugar and cinnamon and then you can't cook these in the stove oh We're gonna cinnamon eat... donuts yeah you can't oh never mind you can't i have no idea how to do these mom let me open this uh we're using this which is called a fry daddy so if you have any fryer or anything this is how you make these they're cheap they're easy and they're like delicious so this is my favorite part this is all i'm gonna do i'm gonna let the women handle the cooking part you jerk watch Whoa! I didn't get it out! Yeah, let me do that. <laughs> We're doing two cans. You we make, we make 20 biscuits. Boo's like, yo, doll, I want to check it out. Let me see. Through his eyes. He's like, ew. Ready to watch. If it doesn't pop on us. Here we go. Woo! NASCAR! <laughs> He's like, give me that now. She just said, woo, biscuits. Woo! Buttermilk biscuits. <laughs> Shake out, anybody, anybody? Huh? Shake out the hiccup. There you go. All right, what Gray's doing is taking this little cap, like it's like a little it's bottle cap or something. It's from one of his uh, bottles. One of Boo's bottles. And uh, we're just putting it in. But you could use like a, any kind of little cap, like this, or this small. Or you can just stick your finger like, stick your finger through it. But it makes it easier, makes better holes. So she said, uh, if you do it like that. I'm blending it together. So we got to make holes in every one of these, all these 20 biscuits. You don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to, but it, it gets more sugar and cinnamon on them, and they're so much better. She's thing. putting cinnamon Ooh. and sugar together while Gray's doing that. Ooh, what is that? Ooh. I don't know. Throw that away. Okay, don't get the cheap biscuits next time, guys. Get the good biscuits. 
Ooh. Can I just throw it to the side for now? Like I went, like I popped a hole and it like came out of it. Ooh. Are they old? Did you check the this No. Thing? No. So yeah, we're mixing I mean, none of the other mix ones sugar together. and cinnamon together and ha maybe like how do you do this, Mama? Like, Explain MC. this. And maybe ice. Just equal I just, amounts? I try to do about equal portions of both. And then mix it up and it should look like that. Nice and tan. Perfect little mixture there. This is today's cooking show. With Tracy. Cooking with Grayson. Because <laughs> I am cooking with Grayson. Okay, so we have our cinnamon mixed up with our sugar. Equal portions in a bowl. A bowl big enough to toss and turn the donuts. Use a spoon probably, you know, doesn't matter what kind, just any kind of spoon and just like mix it up really well. Okay, we've got that. We have our biscuits over here in a plate. They have holes in the center to make them look like donuts. Very cheap and easy dessert for the kids. Let's put away our cinnamon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. This is a must have. You don't want to use your fingers in the very hot oil. It will burn. So that when you bring them out, you bring your plate over to the fry daddy and you get them and put them into the pan that you're going to be setting them in. Thank you and have a good day. All right, now we put the, the donut in the oil. Just drop oh, it in. I'm so nervous. You'll see they'll puff up. No, I'm going to take it out. When it turns brown. Well, I bet you come Is it turning brown there. fast? Oh, and you in mid process, you want to flip them. Oh. Yeah, you want to flip them. Flip them things. Oh. Flip oh. it. They cook really fast. They cook really fast. Ah. Trust me, I know I'm a chef. I want to do one. Okay, that's brown. That's brown as poo. Oh yeah. And then I just drop it in here. And then just drop it in there. Mix it around in that sugar and cinnamon. And it's delicious. Shouldn't have did that. Yeah. Don't put your spoon in the cinnamon. I that won't be like, good. Oh Looks delicious, girl. Oh, that's where he got it. Right there. What you doing, God damn. Gray is taking like. It takes yeah, she's, we've been doing this for five minutes now. No, she's, got, she's got two done. We've done it for like two minutes. Huh. We've done it for like two minutes. That's what she said. That's what you wish. What? But what are you getting into? What is this? What is this, boo? Boo, pull this thing off. Yeah, yeah. I've been playing with it. Up. What is it, Boo? You figuring it out? Huh? What are you doing, Boo? Looking out the window? Look, Boo. Look. Get. Look, Boo. Get your peach. Look. Look, Boo. Boo. Do it again. Do it. Here. Put it in the light. Get it. Put it in the light, boo. Do it, boo. Put it in the light, boo. Boo, put your peach in the light. It's hot. God dang it, that was hot. Do it, boo. Do do. Be careful, you'll get burnt. Put it there, look. Do it. It's hot, isn't it? Yeah. You wanna put it under the light? Burn it? Get it all crispy? Okay, you don't want to, but you're gonna eat your little peach and get it everywhere, aren't you? Be careful, hey, it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Mm hmm. It's hot, boo. <laughs> don't do that. It's really hot. You're so silly. Watch what he does, if you guys haven't seen this before. Do it, boo. <laughs> he makes it smoke. He's like, oh snap, it's good and crispy. Do light, boo. Light, boo. Do it. What are you doing? <laughs> it smokes. He loves doing that. <laughs> boo, you're so smart. You're so smart, boo. Alright, so today Facebook had their F8 conference. I don't know why it's called that actually, but uh, they announced all kinds of new stuff and they actually talked about the new profile pages today. Uh, if you guys use Facebook, which I'm pretty sure all of you do, and if you don't, there's probably only a few of you that don't. Um, they uh, like added some new stuff. They changed how the stories show up. Like they've got newest 
Or most popular? Is it or is it newest? It's newest. Newest. Most recent. It's like most recent. Uh, newest, most recent, popular. And you can they changed. Show it. And then you pick your yeah, they changed it up. And then also they added this thing over here to the side, which is called the ticker, which you'll probably see here in just a second. It'll yeah, it, like it constantly is refreshing with new stuff and updating. Uh, and it's just little stuff, like like stuff you don't really care about. Like, for example, like they're adding a lot of new stuff, which I'll talk about in just a second. They like it's gonna scroll through all the little stuff. Like, say somebody like somebody's post that you don't even know, or they did they watched a movie on Netflix. Netflix is coming to Facebook. Uh, they listened to a song on Pandora. Who's playing with some spoons? Uh, so basically, what it is is a little ticker of information you don't really care about. You don't want to stalk people that much, but at the same time, it's just over there to the side. So. You may see something that catches your eye, you click on it if you're interested in it. I like how they did that, like it's information you don't really care about, but you can still see it, but it's not annoying. They changed right. up their photos whenever you put yeah, a photo. Yeah, like Google like Plus. Plus. What? I it's a lot bigger. Page, yeah, they actually added that a while back ago, didn't they? See how much bigger the pictures are now? I yeah. The like oh, but they did copy Google Plus yeah. a oh, lot. Yeah. Holy crap. They have groups now. But they have lists, just like like it, instead of instead of circles, there's lists. But it's yeah. it's smart lists. Okay, but I did, like okay. they made a list for me for YouTube people, but one, they only added a gray yeah, to it. One really good thing on here that they did was everybody has a Facebook, and everybody that's really somebody has a Facebook fan page. But you can do that thing where you subscribe. And yeah. You can allow people to subscribe to you, and it's kind of like a Facebook fan page. You can only share what you want to share with them. That's a really good thing yeah. for Facebook to have. I didn't understand that. I no, it, wasn't, it was only like a week ago. I didn't really understand that. Does that mean that you can instead of like so instead of liking somebody's page, you can just have your own profile, basically? So they're adding all kinds of new services and apps and stuff like Netflix and Spotify and just all kinds of new little apps that they're going to have this thing called the open graph. I don't know, it just it basically Facebook already knows way too much about you. Now they're going to know literally everything. Like they were they were giving examples like they're going to like if you're hiking, they can show where you've hiked. Uh, if you were running or anything like that, what you're cooking at the moment, and but that's that's the little information that they're gonna hide and put over to the side that you don't really want to know about everybody. But they're gonna know what you eat, what you do, where you went, what your friends or who your friends are, what your friends like, what you like. He's putting his feet up there now. <laughs> Boo is like just burning himself. Boo, no, it's Emma. <laughs> Boo. Anyways. What do you guys think about the Facebook updates? I, I think I think Facebook is gonna like triple in value. I think it's kind of crazy because they already know so much about you. Like I, if I wanted to, let's say I had an iPhone app that is about skateboarding, I can say I want to find people in Charlotte, North Carolina, that's near me, that's 18 years old, that has an iPhone that likes skateboarding to advertise my skateboarding iPhone app, and it, it's like you you can target exactly the person you want. I don't know. I just think Facebook, like I don't like Facebook that much, but they have a really good thing on their hands. And I think now, I think now they're actually t taking full potential of what they have. But they have, it, no, but at like, the same time, it, there's a positive up, for what? It's like you have to like you have to put it up there. It's not like it's gonna be able to automate. Yeah. Read no, it. no, they're trying to make it as automate like as automated as they can. Yeah, well, yeah. But okay. you have to opt into those things to be sure. One thing they're not thinking about is the new people that come to the site. I know pretty much everybody's on it that's gonna be, but whenever it starts to expand, people don't understand how complicated that site is. Oh, yeah. Been it's not yeah, but it's so not long. it's not complicated it really. Complicated for the typical average user. Yeah, but, but not at the same time. I that's what I was thinking at first, but you know what? I don't I don't think so. Yeah, like they need to target Facebook to the to the moms and, and to the kids who want to talk to friends. And, and what is the little gray triangle in the corners of everybody's I haven't figured picture? that out yet. It's supposed to show something, but I don't know what it is. Anyways, and then they're rolling out this new timeline thing where you can basically scroll through somebody's life. That's pretty crazy. I don't know. Facebook knows everything about you, and now they know even more. They're going to know when you go to poop. Basically, and then they're gonna, they're gonna advertise you. <laughs> they're gonna advertise you. Would you like to use this toilet paper while you poop next time? Get a 50% off coupon. Watch what happened after this. That's a good idea, guys. Somebody make that. Make the pooping app for Facebook to tell people when you're pooping. <laughs> they're delicious, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, they're so good. I'm gonna try one. Oh, 
the clock out. Gray, you did a good job. Mm. So delicious. Good job, Gray. I would high five you, but I don't have any hands free. So what do you guys think about Facebook and the new changes? Do you like Facebook? Do you hate Facebook? Do you use it because your friends are on it? Give me your opinion. What are we making now, Mama? Okay, now we're going to make some Russian tea. How do you make that? All you do is figure out how many cups you're going to be making. One, two, three, four. We're doing four. So I measured out four cups of water into a pot because I'm making more than one. Normally, if you have one cup, you're just going to use that cup and heat it up, heat the water up. Okay, anyway, so what you do is you put each, you put one tea bag for each cup you're going to use. Heat the water up, make it a little tea. You don't have to cook it very long. Put you, you have to kind of guess at this part. You can put you some tang, orange, what is it called? Orange tango, I think, yeah, or tang. Something like a tang or whatever. And then cinnamon. And cinnamon. And you want to use some of this, the whole cloves. What is that? Like just a little chocolate or something? No, it's like a... I don't know, it gives it like a little spice with the oh, does like spices. cinnamon and the So you tang. mix it all together in the cup. But look, this is how much I have in there of the tang and the cinnamon. I mixed it and three cloves in each cup. Pour your tea in. If it's not sweet enough, add regular sugar and mix and go. And there and you go. And that's Hot what? Russian tea. Russian tea. All the people from like the UK and stuff, like where they make real tea, they're going to be like, that's not real tea. That's not Russian tea. This is tea. I know you guys. I know you guys. I know you guys from the UK. You like to drink your tea and you drink it differently than me. Yay. All right, let's try some of this Russian tea. Looks good, but I don't know. It reminds me of like cinnamon, like something you drink during Christmas. That's good. Yeah, what is that stuff? My grandma makes a cinnamon, oh, apple cider with like real cinnamon sticks in it. Like apple cider. She makes it so good. I cannot wait until the holidays and Thanksgiving and all that. Man. I'm ready to eat for Thanksgiving. Mm. So good. Oh this is God. really good. Have you tried this? Not yet. It's hot. Try it. It's good. It's not that hot. It just feels hot. Oh, Try it. It's the last one. But I cannot wait to go to Delicious Orchards and have an apple cider. Mm. Their apple cider is the bomb. We're just spoiling ourselves tonight. Nice donuts. Ow, that one's hot. Brush and tea. And let's check them, see if they're done. I was about to say, where are they at? Oh, snap, Kool Aid Pops. I don't think they're done yet, but they're getting there. Boo, you want some Russian tea? Boo, you want Russian tea? Come here. <laughs> Thank you for the donuts, Gray. You're welcome, and you're welcome. Thank you for the Russian you. tea. Thank you. You're welcome. And you're welcome for dinner, Gray. Thank you for. No, thank you for me making you dinner. But I paid for it. Oh, yeah. You paid for this? What? Well, she's the woman. I'm not supposed to cook. Hold up. Back it up. Who helps you edit videos? Who helps you do a Crazy Gray. Of stuff? Who does your laundry? Who cleans your room? Who vacuums? So Just you don't pay for everything. I pay for everything. Yeah, you do. But some of that Even money vlogs? should be Grayson's. Hey, our vlogs don't make that mm -hmm. much money. <laughs> Mama, I appreciate her helping me, and I buy her stuff all the time. I know. But then you complain about buying stuff. And yes, because you spend too much money on stuff you don't need. Buying three conditioners. I didn't buy three conditioners. Leave-in conditioner, regular conditioner, conditioner and mousse you know. slash conditioner. It's it's it's, it's crazy. Oh yeah, they are done, son. Check it out. It looks like all the sugars down in that end. Delicious. Oh my god, it's like, it's five times better than Kool-Aid. It's like a frozen Kool-Aid times five. I'm telling you. Frozen Kool-Aid times but five. But it is frozen Kool-Aid, but not multiplied by five. Oh, it's multiplied by five. It's like, it, it tastes more sweeter. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you have any suggestions for little cool little things we can make uh, like this, like the little donuts or cool little Kool-Aid pops or anything oh, like that. Dinner dishes that are really Dinner dishes. Delicious cheap, it just, it, just anything healthy. cool you think we should check out and eat, or maybe there's something in your country that you make that you know we can make here. Give us some suggestions. I'd love to hear from you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. So we'll great. And that's about it. Peace out. Don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed it. Seriously, click it. Mac, Mac shut up. He's he wants to go play with the booger boo. Peace. Guys, I phone help in Pirate Grey. Broken hard, doing vlogs, man, every day. Being funny, huh? What can I say? For helping everybody, man. Videos on the way, subscribe today. Hit like and play. Not one does.